In today's video, I'm going to show off my three coil gong clocks, and as a bonus, I will also be showing the Bulova. So, uh, four reviews in one. So the first one is my DN Day. It's my second mechanical clock I bought. It's missing its top spire. As you can see, this clock is probably my largest mechanical clock I own. It's very nice. It's got a very lovely gong, which I will showcase now. Very nice. We'll bring it to the hour now. Yep, yeah. that was this one. I don't know why I say that, <laughs> but I love the art. Yeah, I love the carving on this one. It's very nice, including the glass bezel too. Oh, I forgot to show you. That's this one's key. Now we're going to turn our attention to this one. This is a unique 31 day. It's my smallest mechanical clock and it's also my first. And it's the only one I own where you can see the movements very clearly. I don't know if you can see in there. This one has a very weird movement because if you look Most 31 day clocks do that, but I don't like that. But here's this one striking on the hour. This one strikes very fast, so it gets through the hour pretty quickly. And I also love the design on this one too. It's very nice. And our last one on the mechanical clock list is probably the newest one. This is my Ergo. It's probably, mm, it's a medium sized one. very nice. This one does not have a latch. This one you just open. This one, the gong is a little more hidden. You can see the movement up in there. I'm going to showcase this one striking. It's very quiet. It's not as loud. And, oops. I was trying to showcase the key. Here's this one's key. This top part is like weird feeling. It like has a lot of grit. <laughs> this one's key is, has a different design. Now we're going to turn our attention over here. This is my Bulova mantle clock. 
I'm actually going to turn this one to the back. As you can see, it's a battery-operated piece. You can actually see the speaker right there. This is one of my other clocks where you can actually see the inside from the sides, but it's battery-operated, so it's not that special. I'm going to showcase this one chiming. This one does not have an hour strike, but it's low-pitched, unlike another clock I own. <laughs> that anniversary clock. But this one is low-pitched, so it actually sounds pretty cool. Observe. Yeah, it has no hour strike, but it actually sounds pretty cool, so I'll take it. It's, uh, I think it's inspired by a bracket clock, because I believe I've seen bracket clocks that look like this before. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, and bye.